what is going on people today again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my tutorials so welcome to my how to use background series without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial this was the design sent to me by one of the group members I have so many things to say about this but I have to reduce it so let's go straight to my slide alright so the first thing I noticed on this design is it's dull alright very dull and so many things are going on on the artwork that made it look dull so let's go straight to the next slide so the color did not flow with the design we have too many colors here the color usage is not balanced and also i want to advise every one of you when you are working on design that is connected to kids avoid using black and white i remember when i you know bought two toys for my son a batman toy which is black and then i bought a, another one with red and yellow i realized that my son preferred the one with the high contrast color than the black this now open my eyes to whenever i'm designing anything for kids i should avoid using dull colors the icons on the background does not flow with the theme of this artwork because i can see something like a bicycle this artwork is actually talking about harvest so i can also see something like a compass icon used on the background are mostly used for back to schools all right like if you're doing anything connected to school that's when you're supposed to use icons like this so the icons are not necessary so when you're working on project like this my advice for you is to check out animation movie posters most of all these 3d movie posters they are always best for picking colors all right when it comes to doing designs for kids so i have for projects like this i mostly use colors from toy stories another option is inside out all right if you check out that movie poster you realize that they use too many colors and all these colors work with each other so when you're working on project like this my advice for you is to check out those posters pick your colors from there and then add it to your projects let's go straight to drawing of the layout because this is going to be posted on instagram my frame is going to be square shape i enjoy working on analog workstation because it helps me see the composition of the project before getting to my digital workstation one other advantage of the analog workstation is you can create different options fast you don't have to be a great artist to do this another thing is you are the only one that understands what you are sketching <laughs> very funny now let's go straight to the color we are using the color harmony we're going to be using for this project is the square so i'm going to be drawing the theme on illustrator and then we're going to put everything together in photoshop so the message is do a design for children's anniversary called juvenile harvest and the target audience are the kids so let's go straight to illustrator and start putting things together i already have my fruits and every other thing drawn i would have loved to teach you guys how i did the drawing but i'm trying to save time for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to change the color of this to um something more brighter so i'm just going to click here put the color from here and i'm going to make it brighter all right and i say okay then i'm going to zoom in so the color of uh, my text is going to be white because we're still going to change the color when we get to photoshop so i want to use something that i'll be able to pick the color when i get to photoshop then i'll do the same thing for the juvenile so i'll make this white now notice as i'm changing the color my stroke is still the color that we have there before i change the color of the field and the reason why we have that is because by the time i start applying the 3d extrude to this the color of my stroke is going to be the color of my 3d so i'm going to show you what i'm saying so let's go straight to effect 3d and select extrude 3d and bevel so i'm going to change this to three and every other thing will be zero all right so i'm going to check the preview button now you see now that the color of my stroke is the extrude so i'm going to hit okay then i'll do the same thing to the harvest
I'm going to copy this and I'll paste it in my project of Photoshop. So I'm going to open Photoshop now. So I'll create a new document, file and new. So this page I'm going to use 800 by 800. 72 is fine, but I'm just making 120. And color mode should be set to RGB. And I'll say OK. Then we are going to paste the stuff we copy from Illustrator. And the option I'm going to use here is going to be the smart object option. Alright, because I've applied color to the project in Illustrator. So I'm going to hit OK. So here we are now with the theme of the artwork. So I'm just going to scale this big. Then next is to create a new layer. So I'm going to call the BG. So OK. Then select the gradient tool. Click here. So OK. So next is click on the gradient tool. So I'm going to now shift down and I'll drag down. All right, like so. Yeah, this is not bad. Then I'll make a new layer again. I'll fill this with white. So I'll hold down control backspace and I'll move this down. Select the eraser to increase the size of my brush and just fill out that part like so. All right, so I'm going to select the layer of the team. Then I'll use the magic one too here. Zoom in and pick the color of the field. Then I'm going to create a new layer. I'll call this, go to my foreground, just pick a color from here, like so. Alright, I'm going to pick a color from here and I'll click on OK. Then I'll hold on Alt and hit Backspace. I'll make another layer again. So I'm going to click on the foreground option again here. The foreground color and I'm going to select the um, lighter shade of the green here like so. So I'm going to fill this with um, that green color. Select, modify, contract and I'll select OK on 2. Hit the delete key but to take out that selected area. I need to increase the brightness of this so I'm going to hit the Ctrl L on my keyboard to bring out the levels. And I'll hit OK. Hold down. So hold down Ctrl and click on the thumbnail of the layer to create a marquee of that um, layer. And I'm going to come right here. Pick another shade of green. There's something around the side. Is okay. I'm going to hit OK like so. I'll create a new layer again. Then I'll hit the Alt backspace to fill the color with the color of my foreground. Hide this one, select this, and add a vector mask. Then I'm going to select the brush too. Now switch to black because the color of my vector mask is white. So I'm going to just brush like so. So I'm going to make this visible. Then I'll hold on Alt and drag to make a copy of that vector mask and apply it to the second stroke. And the next thing I'll do is to select the vector mask of that layer and I'll hit the control I and we have this. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to go down to the layer of the fill. Okay, so I'm going to hold down control for Windows users and command for Mac users and I'll click on the thumbnail of the JFill that we created earlier. Go to the gradient tool, come here and change the color of my gradients. Alright. Now double click here and pick. Let me pick this shade of green. Okay, and I'll select OK. I'm going to now just click and drag from bottom up like so. And I'll hit the Ctrl D on my keyboard. Click the lasso tool. Create a new layer above all the layers. Fill. The color of my background is white. So I'm just going to hit Ctrl Backspace to fill, the, fill it with that color. And I'll hit Ctrl D to deselect it. And next is to reduce the opacity of that layer. And I'm going to hold down Ctrl to create a marquee of the fill layer. And I'll click on the Add Vector Mask button here to create this effect. Then next is to put everything in a group because we're going to be creating the one for the harvest. So I'm going to click Ctrl G and I'll call this. Then let's go straight to the one for the harvest. So we're going to do the same move we did with the juvenile. So 
Okay, so I'm going to put it again in a group. Okay, so why I always do this is to make my layer panel neat and simple. So I'm just going to increase the size. Okay, and I'll make a copy of this. Right click and convert it to a smart object. And I'll go to filter, sharpen, and sharp mask. All right, and I'm just going to say okay. So, so I always like to add a sharp mask so as to add more depth to the vector. If I zoom in now here, you see that I have this gradient effect. not subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so as to be notified when i post my tutorials okay so i still have a lot of tutorials coming up for you guys you are able to achieve anything with the help of this tutorial don't forget to post it on your instagram page and remember to tag me all right my instagram handle is right here on the screen i'll see you guys again in my next tutorial peace